Hi, I'm Susie Luger Oliver. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, my checkers program that I wrote in C Sharp class. This is one of the first uh, programs that uh, our teacher assigned us. Uh, the assignment was to uh, make a resizable uh, checkerboard with checkers on it um, and make it look nice. You know, if it gets smaller, it's got to get smaller. Um, and if you notice, I put little hash marks around here and made an inner circle. Um, that wasn't required, but uh, after a certain point, it got too messy, and so I set it up so that uh, the hash marks went away. And then when it gets too small, f even still, the inner circle goes away. And um, you don't have to play legal checkers on here if you don't want to. You can move anything anywhere you want. Uh, but if it hits the end row, um, it turns into a key. Okay, let's see what happens when we make it uh, smaller. Okay, I lost the little circles on top of my crown. And in a minute I'm going to lose the hash marks. And now I'm going to lose the inner circle. Um, and just I'm left with the, with the little key uh, symbol on there. Um, now, uh, there was one other student uh, that also uh, chose to make his uh, checkers actually play. That wasn't part of the assignment, but our teacher was fine with us running off and doing extra stuff and learning more. And uh, then we came back and presented everything to the rest of the class. I was in a unique situation where we had five or six people in the class, and all of us were professional programmers with uh, between five and 15 years of experience. Um, and so we started competing with each other to see who could add the best bells and whistles to everything. And uh, then we'd come show each other what we had done. Um, so we learned a lot more than we normally would have in a uh, regular uh, C-sharp class. And um, so I've started the demo here so you can see how it plays. Um, towards the end, you'll notice it doesn't really make real smart moves. Um, I haven't added any kind of algorithm to make it evaluate which moves are better. Uh, the only thing it does in that uh, capacity, well, two things. It checks to see if there's a jump involved. And there's a rule in checkers that says if you have a jump, you have to take it. Now, if you have more than one jump, you can choose which one. Um, and that should be the end of the game there. Um, so, um, anyway, uh, it does not check to see which moves are better than the other ones, uh, except it does check and see if one of the uh, moves will end the game. Oops. <laughs> Got to reset the board first. But um, at the beginning, you saw me moving the checkers around. Uh, by doing that, I can uh, set up the board any way I want. And then you can see how the computer would have played it. Um, and it would be fairly easy to uh, change this uh, so that you're playing against, uh, humans playing against the computer. Uh, I only had one, re one week to write the program, so I didn't get that part done. Um, but of course, that wasn't, it wasn't required to make it run, uh, to make it uh, play at all anyway. But I think it would be nice to go ahead and fix it up so that uh, when my son wants to play something, he, he can show his friends, hey, my mom wrote this program in this cool, and we can play the computer. Um, but um, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, and uh, in the beginning, I wrote it uh, when I just drew it. Um, I, ha I had uh, the checkerboard. Uh, was a class, and each square was a class. Of course, the checkerboard has 64 squares. Um, and I had the square uh, had a has a relationship with the checker, a square has a checker or not. Um, and that worked fine for drawing it, but it didn't work very well for um, uh, actually playing checkers. So I went back and redesigned how I did the checkers. And um, I made uh, lists of checkers instead, and 
told where they were on the checkerboard and kept track of that information rather than um, trying to uh, look at every square and figure out where my checkers were. Um, I could just go down my list of checkers and see what square they're on and if they still exist. Um, I didn't delete the checker uh, when it got jumped. I just set a flag so that I know it's not in play anymore. Um, anyway, that's about it.